Let's get your thoughts on the game there, Rick. Unbelievable. Just a great baseball game. And Don't quote me on this, but that might be the first time we've come back this year when we've been trailing by seven. After seven innings, I'm sorry. Um, pitching was good by both teams. Both starters did a fantastic job. I mean, you try not to talk too much about it, put undue pressure on the pitchers going out there today, but they were as good as advertised. And Hamburger obviously was good getting himself into the ninth inning with a two-run lead there. And McGovern gave us seven really good innings. And bull our bullpen was good. And defense was good. And we just couldn't get much going on them. You know, Hamburger's a good pitcher. And, you know, we put a hit and run on early in the ball game. It's the first time we've hit and run all year. Um, we sacked Bonnet today just trying to, you know, put a guy in scoring position just because you're not sure how many chances you're going to get to score off Hamburger. But, you know, it just we couldn't get anything going. He was in complete control. But, you know, Romo set the tone in the ninth inning, had a hell of a at bat, fouling off some pitches, some tough two-strike pitches, and gets one through the uh, right side of the infield to get us started. And Reggie hits one off the end of the bat, and there's no clouds in the sky. It's a high sky. It's a tough read. And obviously the left fielder and center fielder must have took a step back on it and you know, had some good fortune that that ball fell through. And um, you know, we were just off and running after that. Plefner rifles one through the, through the right side to get us our first run. And Reggie does a great job of base running going first to third. And um, you know he beat a good throw by Almondova from right field to third base to get that tying run to third base with nobody out. And Bergen had a tough at bat. And next guy came up. and. Passed the baton, and uh, there was uh, Darvel just waiting for the opportunity, and he came through. In a situation like that now, where there's one out, and obviously they're hoping for a, a double play, so would Darvel be keyed in on maybe a certain pitch there? And uh, I don't and think so. I asked him if he was looking for a breaking ball right there, and he said, no, I was just trying to look, look for something to shoot the right side, shoot the hole right there. But... If you remember correctly, is that bat before that he hit one to the wall and hit the line drive to the wall in right field. So obviously, I mean, he's had enough that bats against Hamburger over the last two years that obviously he's got a good plan against him. And obviously when you line out, hit the ball the way you did that bat before, you're pretty comfortable going into the box. And uh, you got to expect Hamburger's going to be around the plate, you know, and he was ready for it. Were you surprised at all that he came out for the ninth? I think he was only no, at 99 pitches. I'm not surprised. I'd do the same thing. I mean, his... He was in complete control of the game. There's no reason to think that you need to go to anybody else. Um, and winning a game like that, I mean, can it do something for a team? Uh, it's a playoff style game, I guess. Well, I mean, we've been playing some pretty good baseball and doing more things to win games lately than we have been to lose games. And um, we got a good club. We've always been pretty confident this year. And it's really tough to play at a really high level in this league um, over 100 games. And, there's going to be highs and lows, and right now we're playing good baseball as a group. Everybody's pretty confident, and uh, our starting pitching is stabilized just a little bit. Our bullpen's deep. We're conf confident in our bullpen, and I always felt like we'd have an opportunity to hit because we have a good lineup, and I guess for me, early in the season watching us play, it was just going to be a matter of whether our defense was going to settle in enough to be give us a chance. Your thoughts on the game, Kevin? Uh, what an ending. That's all I can think about right now. Um, it was uh, it was a great pitching duel between me and Hamburger, and uh, I was really excited about this start. And, you know, they had some uh, some good at-bats late, and they got that one hit off me. And, you know, it just shows uh, what kind of hitters we have and, and how hot we are right now about building that ninth inning rally. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where I think he had 14 straight guys in a row, and you know, all it takes is just one, one break, and then we capitalize on it. So... It was an amazing swing by Wes and uh, really picked me up and definitely not going to forget about it. When you're in a pitcher duel like that, uh, it must be uh, fun but also stressful knowing that there's not a lot of room for error when the other guy's nearly perfect as well, right? Yeah, I definitely thought one run was going to change the uh, the whole outcome of the game. So it, it's, it's, it's fun to pitch in that kind of atmosphere. I mean, it's nice to pitch again in a 10-run lead, but uh, when that happens, it definitely feels like a playoff atmosphere and that's stuff that I love pitching in and uh, – you know, I'll take that over anything, um, every start out. So it was it was nice to get that experience. You a Wes uh, steak dinner or something for uh, oh, I'll, I'll definitely Yeah, I mean, you're in that RBI, so you get that steak. But, uh, you know, I really, uh, really appreciate um, <laughs> just that one big swing. And uh, it definitely helps me out a lot. But, uh, you know, for the team itself, it's you know, a huge win. We, it could have tied the, uh, the North, and instead we're up two games with all the momentum going forward. And, 
you know, our starting pitch is looking really strong, and, and I'm excited to see what Dodson's going to do. And, you know, it doesn't matter what inning, if it's the first inning or the ninth inning, it looks like our offense is going to show up no matter what. Do you feel like your lineup has a lot of different ways to win? I really feel like no matter what happens, if the guy is uh, a wild or if he's a strike thrower like Hamburger, we're going to find a way to get on base and throw hits together, throw walks together, something like that. We're going to put pressure on each pitcher. So I definitely think the league is noticing. And the last team that any pitcher wants to face right now is the Gold Eyes. And uh, I definitely think we're capitalizing on it, especially in the first inning. Let's get your, <laughs> yeah, let's get your thoughts on the game there, Wes. Uh, yeah, it was really exciting. Uh, like I told uh, Steve after the game. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, man. Give him a towel. Give him a towel. Right, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I should have known that was coming. You were saying? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, like I said, that's probably the – in my opinion, two best pitchers in the league right there. So, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun going in, and they uh, uh, they didn't disappoint. That was a great game. Uh, fun to watch McGov go out there every game, um, too. But, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was a lot of fun and a good way to end it, obviously. I guess you go out there, Wes. I mean, you'd probably love to hit a home run, but were you thinking home run, or you're just thinking to elevate the ball and at least try and bring the tying run in? Yeah, I'm not even that, really. I'm just trying to put a good swing on it. Um, trying, to, trying to pull the ball, honestly, with the hole there. There's... Um, a little bit of room over there. So I was trying to get the head out um, and be aggressive. I know he throws a lot of strikes, so you got to be ready to hit every time you face him. But, um, yeah, that was it, just trying to get a good pitch to hit and uh, get the barrel out and put a good swing on it. He had tied you guys up in knots for a few innings. I think actually the last hit you guys had part of the ninth was in the third. Um, but then uh, Josh comes out, gets the hit, Reggie uh, with the bloop there, and I guess uh, it just becomes contagious again. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Um, but, yeah, those are – yeah, I mean, he's a great pitcher, so he's, uh, you know, he makes his pitches, and he, you know, he's got a lot of confidence out there, too, and uh, just a good job by the guys battling. Yeah, like you said, we had some, uh, we had a little bit of a stretch there where uh, we didn't swing it so well, but, uh, you know, sort of tip your cap and just keep going, um, just keep grinding out your at-bats, and uh, I think that's what, that's what we did tonight. Have you had a walk-off home run in your professional career? Never. I don't hit too many, so <laughs> not a lot of them come in the ninth inning, but, uh, yeah. That, nice memory there. Yeah, for sure. That was a lot of fun, yeah.